Welcome to Church Online this morning, the opportunity to share and worship together. Today, Wayne will be preaching on the series Emotionally Healthy Spirituality, which many of us will begin studying this week in the small groups. This course looks at how emotional immaturity or shutdown can hamper our spiritual growth. We are emotional beings made in God's image. However, we often neglect to pay attention to what is actually going on inside us, putting our emotions on autopilot, overriding how we really feel about situations that arise in our day-to-day -day life. We are all busy, so we are not allowed time to slow down and just be with God, to listen to his Holy Spirit's gentle voice and seek his guidance in our lives, to identify and root out unhealthy entrenched habits or beliefs or attitudes that are inhibiting our emotional and spiritual growth. As Christians, we can get too busy doing God things rather than being with God to discern the Holy Spirit's leading and guidance to help us to be the person he wants us to be and to live God's plan for our lives. As the old saying goes, we were created as human beings, not human doings. So I hope the worship songs chosen this morning bring you into the Lord's presence as I reflect upon the blessings that flow from centering our lives around Jesus and following him each day of our life. The first song, Let It Be Jesus, declares, for me, to live is Christ. For us to truly live in all its abundance as God intended, we need to put God above everything else. How do we do this? The second song, Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus, implores us to stay focused on Jesus and not to be distracted by pursuit of worldly things. The video clip I've chosen is a contemporary version which is expanded with a few additional verses on the original hymn. It is these verses add tremendous lyrics and are very Christ-centred and soul-searching. So I hope you enjoy it. The third song, Draw Me Close To You, expresses a desire for us to walk closely with Jesus throughout our life and to continually turn back to him whenever we tend to go astray. And of course, the final song, Not Yet I, But Through Christ In Me, by City of Life, is well known to everyone and declares the hope and joy, the freedom, the love and peace that we experience when you allow Jesus to live through us. I would like to close with a prayer from the devotion on day one in the Emotionally Healthy Spirituality booklet. Lord, help me to see how much I lose when I lose you. My perspective on my life and all of life gets distorted when I don't make space for you, obscuring your love from me. Your love is better than life and truly I long for more tastes of that love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May you be aware of the Lord's presence in your life throughout this coming week. God bless you all.